All right. We need to get to the obelisk, which is right up there. I'm trying to think what the fastest way would be. Probably this way. Um, yeah, let's go up here. Oh, sure, he gets the stay, uh, say the cool and Neo sends his regards. I was so tempted, it was so good. Just the, uh, the dialogue options in this game have been fantastic. I've been really liking it. Oh. Guys, we're just like, you know, before, you know, I like was questioning like how close we were to the ending. I just, I, I, f I feel it now. All right, so everybody has gone from here. Maybe I should have saved beforehand. Let me just, uh, let me just do another save there. I know plaques are already in, but last one. Lord of many, grant me an audience. The fierce one, grant me an audience. Osiris, Lord of silence, grant me an audience. Pluto. Are these not all in the same? But potentially the original one may have been this, this, this one? Because I think what we've learned thus far is that the Romans stole what no the romans stole from the grecians the grecians stole from the egyptians the egyptians stole from this ancient people oh no oh i i don't think that was correct all right so that was not the right answer um okay osiris Okay, all right. I can see that um uh -huh. you don't you don't like um <laughs> 80s? Okay, I'm there. <clears throat> Pluto. It's definitely Pluto in there, right? Was that actually the right answer, or did I actually have to go through all four? <laughs> First try. <laughs> oh, so we have to do it like this in a specific order. So since we did Pluto last time, Maybe we're kind of going back in time this way. So then it would be Hades. I understand. Each temple is in the... It looks like... Yeah, what? Yeah, okay. All right, so this one will be Osiris. Last one. I almost feel like we're getting to a, a bit of a an ending here. I wonder if that's where this is leading. Is, is this the white hallway? Did I, this, this looks pretty white to me. Um, <clears throat> um, 
anyone who might be here right now watching the stream or YouTube video otherwise, um, on the menu screen of this game, it warns you that uh, once you find the white hallway, um, that starts to get to some very spoilery content in the game. I, I think it's safe to say that I have found the white hallway. <laughs> if this is not the white hallway, I don't know what is. <laughs> Ninth lady, thanks for the follow. Excuse me? Uh, I hope I'm not intruding. And here you are. Allow me to introduce myself. As you have already gathered, I've been known by many names. Nergal to the Sumerians, Osiris to the Egyptians, Hades to the Greeks, and Pluto to the Romans. But the one constant through it all has been my title, God of the Underworld. And I've been watching you with curiosity, mortal, ever since your arrival. You're unlike the others, aren't you? And what is more, you carry a weapon that was never intended for mortals to wield, and you do it so reasonably. But there will be time for your reckoning later. First, as a reward for undoing the desecration of my obelisk, I will allow you to satisfy your curiosity. Ask what you will. Well, this took a twist. <laughs> also, Gwingy, welcome in. I hope that you're doing well. What's your story? What is this place? Um, are you responsible for the golden rule? I, I don't have any questions. Can you imagine? It has come to be known simply as the underworld, and it exists because of a wager I made long ago. What was the wager you made? Who built the city? How did you decide who comes here? How did humans learn about the underworld? Yeah, I'm very curious about this one. To ensure the wage was fair, it was important that my subjects were chosen at random. To this end, I had my servant distribute a thousand tokens fashioned from the silver, a rare element at the time, across all of Sumer. Whoever died while in possession of one of them would be located by my servant and ferried to this place with no memory. As the tokens were discovered, they were traded, smelted, and fashioned into trinkets, and eventually coins, spreading to Egypt like seeds on the wind. Later, when they spread to Greece, they would come to be known as Charon's Oval, or as coins for the ferryman. Some placed coins in the mouths of their dead, hoping they would awaken here, though they had no way of knowing which coins were fashioned from the original tokens. In fact, almost all of the tokens are accounted for, only two remain. Oh, wow. And so after this wave destroys itself, as it is destined to do, your kind will have squandered the last of its potential to ascend beyond this rock, and Persephone's along with it. Uh, tell me about the wager you made. That is a long story. One that began over 3,000 years ago and continues to this day. You see, long ago, my kin and I set out from our home on Elysium to search for other forms of life among the stars. We discovered your planet and witnessed your kind evolving from primates into something lawless and barbaric. You all but destroyed yourselves. Your two short lives being extinguished by violence and ignorance and disease. Yet Proserpina saw raw potential in you. And persuaded the rest of us it would be squandered without our intervention and stewardship. So we revealed ourselves to your people in a place called Sumer. 
We offered guidance in agriculture, toolcraft, and law, and you called us gods. For a time, you flourished, but soon you were too many for us to oversee. And as you spread from that cradle of civilization, we saw something disturbing. We had sown the seeds of dependency and confusion, and soon you returned to your old ways of violence and ignorance, this time in our name. My kin had seen enough, and gave up on your kind, condemning you as barbaric and chaotic, scarcely more than animals. We began preparations to return to Elysium, our home world, a utopia unspoilt by conflict and unimaginable in its beauty. But my Persepina could not bear to abandon your kind without guidance, and knowing it would force the rest of us to leave her behind. She made an extraordinary sacrifice. She gave up her immortality to descend permanently to the ranks of humankind. And so she began her inescapable trajectory toward death. Horrified, I acted swiftly. I placed her in suspended animation in a deep frozen sleep to prevent age and sickness. Did he turn her terror. into a golden and statue? Then I pleaded with Persephone's father, who the Romans called Jupiter to bring her with us to Elysium. It was and is my hope that once there, we might one day learn to undo what she has done to herself. But he refused. I did everything I could to persuade him, but he would not relent. He would rigidly uphold his final pronouncement. Humans were unworthy of ascension to Elysium, and no exceptions would be made. But seeing that I was agreed, he proposed a wager, the terms of which were as follows. If even one human city could prove itself capable of living without sin for a single year, then Proserpina and all of humanity would be permitted to join us. Oh, wow. My part would be to remain behind, the last of my kind, to watch over you without interfering, and to sit in silent judgment. And so my reward. I think they almost language. got there. They were at like seven months During or something. A three thousand year winter, waiting for the day your kind proves itself worthy of her faith in you, so that I might take her with me to Elysium and unthaw my goddess of springtime. And here I am, after all this time, still waiting. Uh, who are your kin? There were also gods who, like me, have been known by many names. But perhaps you knew them by their Roman names. Our leader, Jupiter, as well as Neptune, Saturn, Juno, Minerva, Mars, Venus, Apollo, Diana, Vulcan, Vesta, Ceres. Got a lot of kin. And of course, my beloved Persephone. Uh, who built the city? As the first wave of your kind arrived from Suma, I had them build a city in their own fashion so that they might be comfortable and recreate their lives here. I had them build the entrance as a vertical shaft leading to baths to cleanse them of the sins of their former lives mm. and to prevent escape. I watched wave after wave of Sumerians arrive, and as their civilization declined over the centuries, they were replaced by Egyptians. Of course, believing themselves to be the superior civilization, the Egyptians promptly built over what had been built before and made all the same mistakes. After another thousand years, the Greeks began to arrive, and then the Romans, and they all did the same thing. They built upon the underworlds of their predecessors, renamed their gods, and ensured their foundations were forgotten. Uh, how did humans learn about the underworld? It is a <clears throat> regrettable story. One of the first men who came to this place was a king of Sumer and a troublemaker. To be rid of him, I returned him to his people. Oh, wow. <laughs> on the condition that my servant erased his memories of this place. I guess but someone did listen. But did not take completely. And he told stories of this place as if describing memories of a dream. His tales were committed to writing, which came to be known as the Epic of Gilgamesh, and his words were twisted and distorted over generations. Later, the Egyptians would adapt Sumer's stories of the underworld, 
making them wildly intricate and labyrinthine. Their Book of the Dead and Book of Gates bore less and less resemblance to this place in their priest's pursuit of profit. Then when the Greeks began to arrive, they proved far more cunning. And in a series of incidents that will not be repeated, five I gotta say, he's being very forthcoming on information. Heracles, two kings named Sisyphus and Theseus, a poet named Orpheus, and a Trojan named Aeneas. They each told embellished tales of this place, how to get here, and how to escape. And so from Sumer to Egypt, Greece to Rome, your kind has always told each other stories about this place, though each story contained only a seed of truth. <laughs> um, just welcome in. How's it going? Um, so uh, Sirius has been uh, taking a, a break from from stream streaming, but he still hangs around Twitch. He uh, from time to time will uh, will be in the stream stream. But yeah, I certainly miss his streams. But yeah, he's uh, he's taken a much needed break, and he just uh, moved to Florida actually too. So he's definitely been busy with that. Thanks for the follow as well. Let's talk about something else. Of course. Uh, I was about to say, what's your story? I feel like he's told us a, a good bit about that. My story is many thousands of years long. You will need to be more specific. What do you wish to know? That's fair. Uh, you're a god? It is a matter of perspective. God is a label I was given by you mortals, not one I gave myself. Your ancestors revered me because to them, my knowledge and technology made me incomprehensibly powerful. Just as you might seem so to an insect. But despite all that, Oof. there are rules even I... Did he just compare us to insects? <laughs> um, why do you look and sound like a man? and I all adopted this form long ago, so that we might better understand and communicate with your kind. In time, we grew fond of the sensory delights it affords. Desire joy, ecstasy, even rage and sorrow, while an acquired taste can be addictive. Um, I remember talking, him talking about it a year ago. College and came back and I was surprised to see him gone. Uh, he will be back soon. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. You know, I think just like, you know, did, you know, people go through different paths and uh, things like that in their lives. And right now, um, you know, he feels like streaming isn't for him but you know if it's in the cards for him and if it makes him happy hopefully he'll come back either way i'm really glad that he's still on twitch and that we see him because you know sometimes you see people like kind of leave the platform completely and may i see your true form that's a little forward no <laughs> yeah i figured long ago i swore to persephone that i would remain in this form for as long as we remained among your kind i must honor that uh, who's the woman on your left? This is my beloved. Oh, that's Proserpina. Like me. Okay. She has been known by many names. Eresh Kigel to the Sumerians, Isis to the Egyptians, Persephone to the Greeks, and Proserpina to the Romans. Or perhaps you might know her as the goddess of springtime, the cycle of life and renewal. He wasn't kidding when he said he put her in, uh... So she is the one that's been Your whispering to us. I'm not allowed to leave. Wade won't let me. Speak of the devil. Just, I think you uh, summoned our, our friend Sirius over there. There he is. <laughs> also, hi, Mila. Nice to see you. How are you? Looks like we've met Hades then. Well, Pluto, since we're uh, in the Roman side. And his lovely wife, indeed. She's, uh, she's a little stuck right now, but she's been helping us. Who's on your right? That is my servant. You would have oh. met by the river, though she wears many faces and goes by many Karen! Kumu Tabal to the Sumerians, Kurti to the Egyptians, Charon to the Greeks, and Charon to the Romans. Her role is to ferry souls between the mortal world and this one, and to make their transition as seamless. She doesn't look as friendly as the last that, time we saw her. She earned herself the infamous, if erroneous, moniker, the Ferryman. You will talk more later. For now, ask your questions. As you wish. Are you responsible for the Golden Rule? That is merely the name your people in 
given to it, but yes, it is my doing. Uh, why turn people into gold? That is a story dating back to the very first wave. After the Sumerians finished building their city, the self-declared ruler threw a banquet to celebrate. Now this man was unmarried, and many women were vying to become his wife. Prestigious position of power and influence in a new world. Of all the women, two were particularly ambitious. Both were beautiful. Both arrived at the banquet wearing eye-catching dresses and painted faces, their hair woven in elaborate fashion. The first woman, recognizing that she would require an advantage to win the ruler's affection, draped herself in jewelry. This music in the background. <laughs> it is just wild and <laughs> from gold. Seeing this ostentatious display, the second woman grew envious, for she had no such jewelry at her disposal. She prayed aloud to any gods that would listen to cover her in gold. And when her prayer went unanswered, she took matters into her own hands. While the others indulged at the banquet, the second woman summoned the first for a discussion in a quiet place. She checked that nobody was watching and pushed her rival from the top of the ziggurat oh. where she broke her neck on the rocks below. But I was watching. And I decided to answer her prayer. I took the golden bow left behind by Diana, and I shot that woman in the heart, covering her from head to toe in a layer of molten gold. And I left her to stand there, that she might serve as a grim reminder of what befalls those who sin in my domain. But that was not enough, for the entire city was tainted by her sin. And the wager could no longer be won. So I had no choice but to wipe the slate clean. I gilded them all to make way for a new wave and began the wager again. And to this day, each of them and all who came after line the halls of this city. We've still got to figure out about that golden statue in front of the door. I meant to check that when like uh, the design. golden rule had been broken so to see if she moved, but I don't know. I think we have before. I think she didn't. Golden um, serious, how's your day been going? I hope that it's been nice, buddy. So you're responsible for destroying all of these lives. I give your kind a second chance of life, as well as ample warning about my law. And when you disobey, and you always disobey, you force my hand, bringing terrible suffering upon yourselves. And so you ask if I am the one destroying your lives. And I say, no. He's sassy, but I see the point. I am merely the means by which you do it. Uh, where did these golden bows come from? When my kin departed, they left behind many relics which I inherited. A consolation prize of sorts. The golden bow originally belonged to one of my kin, who the Romans called Diana. As my collection of golden statues grew, I chose the most ferocious among them and equipped them each with a duplicate of her bow and tasked them with hunting down the forsaken at my behest. They became known simply as Furies. Um, so we know about like the, the murder and the stealing at least. I've always considered that the cornerstone of morality is the ability to determine right from wrong on one's own. No attempt to lay out rules like your Code of Hammurabi or your Twelve Tables of the Roman Republic can ever cover all possible scenarios. This should come as no surprise to you, since the core principle has been expressed in many forms by many of your civilizations. The Egyptians made a rudimentary attempt with do to the doer to make him do. The Greeks refined it with avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. The Roman Stoics added treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Even the so-called cultists hiding among you often say, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. <laughs> it is the That's what we said at the beginning of the game. And each one of you is born with the faculties required to apply it to any situation. 
Yet none of the peoples who expressed this rule were able to uphold it. Curious, is it not? That principle is not as easy uh, to apply as it sounds. It doesn't seem like you. It doesn't sound like you've been upholding it either. Oof. Um. I've always lived my life that way. <laughs> <laughs> For you, perhaps. Um. How do you know when people sin? I am able to commune with all of the statues in the city. Their ears are my ears, and their eyes are my eyes. It almost makes you wonder if... Oh. Benny, thanks so much for the 13 months. Over a year now, that's crazy. Benny, welcome back to my sub fam. I hope you enjoy the emotes. How are you doing, man? It's good to see you. Uh, could we get a shout out if a mod is available to do so uh, for Dark Rhino, AKA Benny? Benny, I hope you're having a nice day. Um, I was thinking, you know, in like that, that cave that we found with the, um, philosopher. Yeah. Um, since there's like no statues down there, I wonder if the golden rule could be broken. Is Proserpina connected to the statues in the same if way? If she was still conscious, I suppose she could, but she's not. Mm, Why do you ask? I don't know about that, chief. No reason. <laughs> then what an odd question. Uh, I've seen some terrible things here that you didn't consider a sin. How could you let that happen? Do you plan to speak in sweeping generalizations? Or are you going to give me an example? <sighs> um, price gouging for life saving medicine, a scam, debt bondage, uh, experiments on the golden statues. Uh, um... We'll say, um, uh, I don't know, uh, this? Abduction? You mean the magistrate imprisoning his daughter in the system, I take it? Yeah, that's he what came so to mind. He did so because she sought to escape. A sin I take particularly seriously. Better that he stops her from escaping, albeit brutishly, than I have to wipe out this entire city to punish her. Wouldn't you agree? So, like, honestly, I was still very curious about that potential ending where we have Galerius gather up everybody at the Upper Cistern and release uh, Centilla. But he's confirmed now that, like, he does take that very seriously. And I feel like immediately would send out everybody. But if we're all at the Cisterns already, like, would there be any golden statues there to, to stop? to stop us. I don't know. Um... But he stops her from escaping. I disagree with that. Hmm. Supposing you're right and my law has been broken and I should turn you all to gold immediately. Thank you for doing that. Shout out, Phantom. I'm totally at work but enjoying your stream. Thank you, friend. Much appreciated. Hmm... <sighs> Knew he was so fickle about leaving. It, it seems that way, but I'm, I'm still curious about trying. <laughs> uh, I am right, and you know it. Uh, he's, he's not going to change his mind. Huh. Now tell me, what other sins do you believe I have overlooked? Um, I, I feel like all of these he's going to um, have a, 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 you know, yeah. Hey, uh, excuse for. Her. Very well. Um, let's talk about something else. Very well. I think at this point we've kind of talked to him about everything. Good. Then now it is time for your reckoning. Only, it seems something is wrong. Oh. It has long been within my power to see into the hearts of mortals and weigh their deeds in life. But when I peer into you, I see only a blank slate, as if you did not exist until you appeared in this city. How is this possible? Well, we are Carol, from the future. Where did you find this one? I do not remember ferrying you. How did you come here? Uh, 
I'm from the future. Maybe you're getting maybe you're getting forgetful in your old age. <laughs> if that is true, then I sense the intervention of someone powerful. How did you come to be in this time, mortal? Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Who brought you here? He cannot know. Uh I was hoping you could tell me. I I came here on my own. I do not know. My kin departed long ago, and Proserpina has slumbered mm -hmm. for three thousand years. That's right. Years. Shouldn't you know this as god of the underworld? I guess that means you don't know everything that goes on here. Yikes. Um. I I I feel like either of these is going to anger him. Um. Tread lightly, mortal. Yeah. Enough of this. It seems I will need to put your reckoning on hold for now. But answer this. Why have you come here? What is it you seek? Uh, I'd like you to put an end to the golden rule. I just want to get out of here. I'm here to kill you. Ooh. <laughs> draw golden bow? Draw, draw wooden bow? Oh, guys. Wow. Um I hadn't really gotten this far to think about this. I I feel like I I would like to solve this peacefully and tell him to put an end to the golden rule, but like he's not going to do that. Um I I can see this ending in us putting the old golden bow on him. <laughs> your hubris is amusing, so I will allow you to make your case. But I warn you, if you anger me or waste my time with lies or wrong-headed arguments, you face death here. Sir, so I ain't the only me. one. Why should I put an end to the so-called golden rule? Um... If you're doing this for love, you should know that Proserpina doesn't love you. Oof. How can you expect us to live without sin if you can't do it yourself? The golden rule is corrupting this city and ensuring you'll never win this... win the wager. Enough talk. I'm gonna end this. <laughs> um, I don't feel like I should say this first one. Golden rules crap in the city. I I'm gonna say this maybe. How so? And be specific. You have made a grave allegation, and I expect you to back it up. Decius is price gouging for life saving medicine because he knows nobody can take it by force. Rufius be has become so paranoid that he's jumping at shadows, like Virgil's sexuality. Aurelia is exploiting people's desperation to escape by selling them hemlock. I mean, which is, like, straight up killing them. Maliolus has trapped people in debt bondage by convincing them. I admit, I have grown disturbed watching them. I guess we can bring up all of these then. Uh, Andrew, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. I hope that you're doing great. True. I have witnessed him doing that. <laughs> True. Um, Rufius become paranoid. He's a volatile and confused fellow, that one. Malleolus has trapped people. His cruelty does seem to grow greater by the day. Hmm. If you're right, my involvement has corrupted the very thing I sought to observe impartially. But if I were to accept that, are you telling me these humans could coexist peacefully without theft or violence, without my law? Uh, no, not really. No, but humans need to be able to use force in exceptional circumstances to correct to correct their societies. Wow. Um. <laughs> uh, I uh. uh 
gosh. Um, I don't really like either of these answers. <laughs> what should I say? Oh. You should have brought the old, yeah, the the philosopher guy with us. Yeah, he did. He did like debating, indeed. I guess I'll just say yes. You are either deluded or a liar. I know. I know. You I am. Oh no. Uh, this is our only option now. I feel like a regular bow is not going to to work on him. Um, but like, I was about to say, also, does he deserve to be turned to like a gold statue? I mean, he has turned everybody else into a gold statue, so. I, I wonder if I could have changed his mind, if I should have said the other answer. <laughs> Do you really think you can wound me, a god, with that primitive weapon? Break my chamber? Let's find out, shall we? You may be immortal, but your beloved isn't. How dare you threaten her? This ends now. Oh, oh, The oh. many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh, 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 crown? Wait, hang on. Take the crown? Is there a crown here? Oh, oh, gosh. Uh. Rewind time and show Pluto you have Perserpina's crown. Oh. Okay. All right. I'm going back. I guess we have the crown suddenly. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Please don't shoot me. Oh. I'm running. Pardon me, coming through. And reloading a new area. Okay. Oh, oh, open up, open up, open up. Oh. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I'm probably going a long way. I probably could have taken a zip line. Oh my gosh. Well, this is taking a turn. Ooh. I think at the beginning of the game, I chose the option where it like gives you like more, uh, more life. And more and more, I'm feeling like that might have been a very good option. Uh, did I go the wrong, I need to go, is it up? Yeah, here we go. All right, so just to confirm, I do have Reserp in his crown. All right. <laughs> I love what he did with the place. It looks a little bigger on the inside. You know, we've been saying that oh, this whole time about the weeping angels from Doctor Who, and basically his palace is a TARDIS, so I think that just further confirms things. So now back to the obelisk. Oh, I hope that I still have the plaques. Oh gosh, I didn't think about that, y'all. Oh no. Uh, Did I screw up? Should I have taken the plaques, y'all? Oh no. It does look like the obelisk is still lit up though, so maybe I can still get in. Salve, friend. Hi. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing with that bow? I do still really want to try this option here. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I think. Um. I don't know uh, if we even need him so to take care of these things at this point, but I'm just saying it just in case. All right, I'll go. All right, we're gonna go this way. Yeah, I am very curious about the uh, 
the exit option. Again, maybe we can try that uh, sometime, potentially. <laughs> oh. Mm. It's nice of him to unlock all the doors uh, so we can escape him. <laughs> Classy move, indeed. <laughs> Mm. Uh, Miss um, Persephone is trying to solve everything and we're helping her. Yeah, she's like the, the voice that we've heard behind the statues apparently all this time. All right. So I guess we need to go and show him the, uh, the, the crown at this point. We need to like go ahead and do another save too. Uh, Pluto. Hades. Uh, Osiris. And last but not least, this one. Oh, hello, hello. I am here again. Uh, excuse me. Coming through. And here you are. Hi there. Allow me to introduce myself. No, that's quite all right. No, we know who you are. Mm -hmm. And what is it they will first? Um, I got something for you, my dude. I, I would recognize that anywhere. And yet my beloved still wears hers. What is this? How did you come by it? I took it from her after I killed her in another timeline. You vile, despicable creature. Why would you do such a thing? And worse still, boast about it. I didn't want to kill her, but if you don't put an end to the golden rule, I'll do it again. I could do this all day, and the golden rule, I or I will. You, you have put me in an impossible position. If I refuse, you will murder her. And yet, if I agree, I will lose my wager and return to Elysium, humiliated and alone. That's cool with me. That's the idea. <laughs> well, what's it going to be? I do not see that I have a choice in this. Your treachery and savagery have opened my eyes like nothing I have witnessed in 3,000 years. And now you have shown me your species true color. And I see that Persephone was a fool to have ever believed in you at all. This has gone on too long. It is time for me to let go of this form, of her, of all of you. But know this, if I abandon the way Jern Lee for Elysium, neither she nor your kind may ever ascend. We just want to return to the world. Uh, why can't we go to Elysium? I don't think they'll let us in at this point. Um, but, uh, just out of curiosity's sake. Because despicable creatures like you have no place That's there. fair. My kin would never allow it. The best I can do is return you to the land of the living. I'll take it. I will it. have Carol make arrangements to ferry the others. And as for you, be aware you will be separated from the rest. Oh? Uh, that's not what I want. Don't make me kill her again! Yeah, why? Once this exodus begins, the events that brought you to this moment will never have taken place, and you will have created a paradox. What will become of you is difficult to predict, but that is the risk you have taken by interfering in the natural flow of time. Now, are you ready? Um, I let's let's get this over with. You would best pray our paths never cross again, mortal. <gasps> did, we did it. We're going back.
Oh. Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fright. He's alive. I I'm Al. Hi, Al. I came here to find you. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. I'm Wade. I was hoping you. <laughs> I was hoping you'd know who I am. I. I don't think he does. Oh, did that lady in the forest send you in here after me? I guess I lost track of time, learning about the history of this place, and it is extraordinary. I'm fairly certain you and I are the first people to set foot in this city for about 2,000 years. Fortunately for us, the last person in here was a Roman man named Galerius. Galerius! Who inscribed an account into a tablet. Apparently, there was a community of 20-something people trapped in here, and living in fear of a curse they called the Golden Rule. Did they get they out? That if even one person sinned, an unknown god would cast them all into gold, like the thousand people who'd lived here before them. Then, one day, just as Galerius had finished praying for a good harvest at the Shrine of Proserpina, an oracle appeared and told him how to solve the ills of the city, like saving the life of a dying woman, foiling an assassination attempt, <laughs> and so on. Meanwhile, the oracle walked up to the temple of the mysterious god, this one right here, and demanded an audience. Who could that have been? Opened up to her. The nerve! Well, what went on in there, but Galerius wrote the oracle must have been more persuasive than Odysseus, because the next thing he knew, the ground shook, and the voice of that god rang out over the city. The many have suffered long enough. Unfortunately, Galerius' account just sort of stops after that, leaving a lot of questions unanswered. What became of him and the other people who lived here? What happened to all the golden statues? And did this mysterious oracle single-handedly undo the curse that had terrorized people for so hundreds of years? So even the statues were freed. Actually, that was me. Sounds a bit far-fetched. These Romans are crazy. <laughs> I don't know. It reads like an earnest account to me. Anyway, I think I found a way out through the aqueduct that brought water into the city. Follow me. I'm right behind you. Oh. It actually did take us to uh to the exit. I I thought it might just end there. So we made it to the uh to the other side of the aqueduct. I still want to see what that ending would be like if Galerius like managed to like round up everybody. Oh. Hmm. Wait, is this where we started? By the river? It is. And we came out. So this must have been here this entire time. I wonder if at the beginning of the game, if we came over here, I imagine we probably would have seen this gate, but it would have been locked. Probably, or maybe like you wouldn't be able to interact with it at all. It's funny that it's come full circle. Yeah, it, everybody's okay. If if this is not the best ending, I don't know like what could be, because <laughs> we literally saved everybody. I'm gonna pause here for a moment and make sure nobody else is ever lured into this temple. Uh, all right. You go on ahead. I'll be there soon. Oh, back to Karen, guys. Oh, it's it's so sad to like leave this behind. Oh, we did so much. You're back, but you're alone. Does that mean you didn't find Al? I did. He'll be here in a moment. Oh, what a relief. Thank you so much. I was beginning to think you'd both become trapped in there. Why Were don't you, you tell me what you discovered while we wait? I discovered you're not who you said you were. I remember meeting you 2,000 years ago. I discovered the ruins of an ancient underground city. I, like, I... 
I'm curious what she would say here. Ah, I see. <gasps> I thought you might. Well, now you know. I suppose you have questions. Ah, oh, just a few. <laughs> Who are you, really? You can just call me Charon, if you like. I am sorry I was not completely honest with you when we first met. I do not enjoy deceiving people. Believe me, I do not. But I have learned, from 5,000 years of experience, that most people find comfort in familiarity, in gradual change, and coming to see the truth in their own time. What truth is that? That you died, of course. You were dead when I brought you here. My role, as the servant of the god of the underworld, has always been to assist the chosen to cross the threshold from the land of the living to the land of the dead. So we, we are still dead. But, I mean, Karen did transport the other people back to the real world. Maybe she can do the same for us? How did I die? Hmm. Usually, when people do not remember how they died, it is because they suffered a terrible trauma. Most souls would rather not remember. That's fair. Ask yourself honestly, do you really want to know? Hmm... No. A wise decision. All you need to know is that you and Al died in possession of a sacred silver coin. Pluto said the coins Al and I had were the last in existence. What does that mean for you? Oh, so the two that he mentioned are the ones that we picked up. I thought he was saying there were still two left over? That makes sense. It means... I am now bereft of purpose. Oh, Karen! There is nobody else to ferry here. Nobody to keep you company. After 5,000 years, the underworld has finally run its course. Uh, what's so special about these coins? Perhaps you have heard the tales of the Greeks and Romans burying their dead with a coin in their mouths to pay the ferryman for passage across the river. Well... Those stories contained a seed of truth, but not any coin. She's probably just going to tell us what, uh... A long time ago. Yeah, she's master, just kind of repeating what he already told us, so I'm going to skip through this. Pluto mentioned that my coin was the last in existence. What does that mean for you? It means I am now bereft. There is nobody else to ferry here. Nope. All right. Can you return us to the land of the living? I see no point in keeping you here. But I have to ask one thing. That you keep this to yourself. Look! Here comes Al now! <laughs> Al, it's so good to see you. You were gone so long I thought I'd never see you again. Kinda lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an oracle who confronted a god and undid an ancient curse. Sounds like quite a story, and I look forward to hearing all about it. But you two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I ferry you back to civilization? That'd be Sounds great. Sounds good to me. And you? Are you ready to go home? I guess so. All right, Karen. Fer ferry us home. <sighs> One year later. You made it. Oh my gosh, this looks so modern and weird. <laughs> uh, private member wing, current exhibition, uh, exhibiting ancient Rome, ancient Greece, ancient Egypt. So, how was it pronounced? Sum Sumer? Sumer? Hey, hey, you made it. It's great to see you again. I was After about to say, he looked a lot through, like Virgil there. you might appreciate some good news. Same, like, color so clothes and everything. the real world, I started doing some research into the people mentioned in Galerius's tablet. And I found something strange. I'm 
Sorry I've been so cryptic. I've been dying to tell you. I just really wanted you to see this for yourself. Oh, okay. Why don't you head on down there? I'll catch up with you at the other end. Don't mind if I do. What color Galerius' eyes, or not Galerius, uh, Virgil's eyes were. Hmm. Hi, Mila. Nice. Oh, Renee. <laughs> Renee, welcome in. You guys have the exact same name color. <laughs> Just my brain got confused. <laughs> Don't mind me. Renee, how's it going? I hope you're having a really nice day. We're glad to have you in here. Mila, too, of course. <laughs> but Mila's been hanging out with us. Oh, so they, like, recovered uh, things from the... From the, uh... Ancient ruins. Galerius? You're finally here. Remember me? Oh, what are you doing here? It's a crazy story. After you disappeared, Karen appeared and told us she was returning us to the world. Even gave us some coins to help us start our lives over. Only, for some reason, she returned us to your world instead of ours. I'm okay anyway, with this. I know we only ever had that one conversation, and I wasn't even sure if you'd remember me, but. I wanted to say thanks for freeing us from the underworld and giving us a second chance at life. Um, well, yeah, what are you doing with yourself nowadays? Oh, I used Karen's gift to buy a farm in Umbria. Got a villa on it too, with enough room for Dooley, of course. It's Maybe work, uh, some room for us as well? Every night. I'm finally my own man, and I, I wouldn't change it for the world. He's wonderful. Oh, yeah. Of course, Equidia. Are are you guys together now? I know. I can't believe my luck either. Aww. But we're engaged and living together. Precious. We're planning to get married next spring. Aww. If you're going to be around, we'd love to see you there. I would be honored. I've, I'm not going to lie. We've just been swooning over you this entire playthrough, but I think I can bring myself to, to see you with another woman. <laughs> huh? I'd love that. Count me in. Thanks. We'll see. <laughs> It was good to see you again, Glarious. Of course. There's a whole museum full of people waiting for a chance to thank you. So you better keep moving. We'll speak again soon, my friend. Oh, man. Um. Oh, hello. Speaking of Aquidia and Dooley. Let's talk to Dooley first. Hi, Dooley. Hello. I'm Dooley. I know. I love you, Dooley. Galerius said you're very nice and a big helper. Thank you for getting us out of the bad place. I didn't like it. Uh, what are you doing with yourself nowadays? I live at Galerius and e Equitia's house. Don't worry, I can't say her name either. They look after me now and help me remember when I forget things, like brushing my teeth. <laughs> I'm sorry you never found your treasure. Treasure? Oh, I forgot about that. I like my box now. Galerius got me a box that tells stories. It's my favorite thing. I'm glad you're happy. Story boxes are great, aren't they? Uh, it was good to see you again, Dooley. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, I love him. Let's talk to Equidia. She was really nice. You're here. It's lovely to finally meet you. Galerius told me all about you. Did we not meet her in the most recent uh, run through before things ended? Good to see you too. So, you're the hero who somehow vanquished the last of the Roman gods. As I'm a priestess, you realize you've put me out of work. I'm just teasing. Actually, and it still feels a little sacrilegious to say this, I'm finding life after religion quite enjoyable. What are you doing with yourself? I We've got an idea from Galerius, but... Galerius and I are engaged and expecting... She's going to have a baby! just bought a lovely villa in the countryside with room for a large family and Dooley too, oh. of course. It feels like the world has just opened up for us. There's so much to learn and so many more possibilities for our children than we ever imagined. We're just so thankful for what you did for us. For all of us. This is so precious and wholesome. Oh, it's sweet of you to ask. She recovered nicely. In fact, she's here somewhere. Oh, good. If you'd like to ask her yourself. I would. I'll do that. It's good to see you. See you at the wedding, I hope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the baby shower. I was, like, looking to see if she looked pregnant at all. It, 
She must be pretty early into it. Uh, here's Hi Yulia. There. Hi, Yulia. You're... You're the Oracle, right? I guess you could call me that. Wade's fine. <laughs> oh, of course. I'm sorry. And I never got a chance to thank you for telling Galerius how to save my life. And of course, getting me and all of us out of a terrible situation. Uh, what are you doing with yourself nowadays? Oh, I barely recognize myself. I'm living in a house share in London with my wonderful girlfriend. Aww. And I'm studying English at university. Eventually, I want to travel the world and write about it. Turns out, it's about 30 times bigger than the Roman Empire ever was. <laughs> Did you know there are entire continents Rome never knew existed? And you can travel almost anywhere in an aircraft, which is rather like flying on a Pegasus, but much more comfortable. <laughs> oh, sorry, you already know all that, of course. I'm just so excited. There's so much to see and learn and write about. Ah, uh, seeing the world through fresh eyes sounds wonderful. I have noticed people from your time have no idea how fortunate they are. I hope to change that one day. She's so sweet. Whatever happened to Maliolus and uh, Claudia? Last I heard, Maliolus kept insisting he was the last rightful ruler of the Roman Empire oh, okay. and wound up being committed to a psychiatric <gasps> hospital. As for Claudia, she was always so viciously unhappy. Someone says she'd blown all her money on wine, trying to drink herself back to the underworld. After the horrific way they treated Ulpius and me, I can't help feeling a sense of... What's that German word? Schadenfreude? <laughs> I'm curious uh, what that exactly translates to. I think you're allowed to feel that way. Sounds like they got that what was coming to them. We'll say the first one. Thank you. You're very kind. Uh, what happened with Aurelia? Ugh. Someone told me she was boasting about getting her claws into some rich prince. And how she was going to be living the high life from now on. Even in your time, life still isn't fair. Apparently, he'd proposed before they'd even met. And last I heard, she'd bought herself a first class one How did she manage to that one? Him in some exotic place called. What was it? Nigeria? Some people have all the luck. Did she end up. Did the scammer end up getting scammed? Don't worry, something tells me that she's going to get what she deserves. As the Oracle, I foresee terrible disappointment in her future. <laughs> She probably got one of those emails, didn't she? <laughs> really? Huh. I feel better already. Thank you. That's fantastic. I, I feel better as well. It was good to see you, Yulia. You too. If you're ever in London, let me know. We can go to bars and drink wine and Ooh, listen girl. to the stories of the nine million people who live there. I'll take you up on that. I hope so. Oh, just these people are so sweet. It's going to be so sad to, like, say goodbye to them. You are here. It's nice to finally meet you. Hi again, Lucretia. Lucy is fine. I'm making an effort to blend in, as you can see. We are all trying to keep a low profile. If the world knew we died 2,000 years ago and were suddenly brought back to life 12 months ago, they'd never leave us alone. Speaking of which, I wanted to say thank you in person. I'd say the gods smile on you, but I hear you drove the last of them off. So... Uh, what are you doing with yourself nowadays? I'm studying to get into medical school. As much as I resented the responsibility of keeping everyone in the city alive, when it ended, I realized I missed it. Aww. So I guess I'll just keep saving the world, if begrudgingly, one patient at a time. Precious. It was good to see you, Lucy. You too. Don't be a stranger. Oh, I think Lucy was one of the people that I talked to the least, but she was sweet, and I'm glad to see her again. Gracious. Gosh, she looks different. Without the armor oh, and everything. Wow. Hi, Horatius. I understand we have you to thank for giving us a second chance at life, and reuniting Santilla with us as well. So, thank you. Mm hmm. Um, what are you doing with yourself nowadays? I'm living up north and studying in the military academy in Modena. I'm going to be an officer. Speaking of Centilla, I hope him and Ul or she and Ulpius got back together. 
Would you believe we're still studying military tactics from my time? Alexander the Great, Caesar, Hannibal Barker. Still, I have to keep challenging myself to let go of old ways of thinking and embrace the new. As Seneca wrote, the ones who pioneered our paths aren't our masters, but our guides. Uh, I'm sorry you never got to see your girl again. Oh, you remembered that. Thank you. I grieved for a time, but that's done. In the words of Epictetus, as those who rode behind triumphant generals remind them they are mortal, remind yourself your precious one isn't one of your possessions, but something given for now, not forever. You have a way with words, Horatius. <clears throat> well said. Thanks. Oh, and I don't know if you've heard, but a few of us are going for drinks later. It'd be nice to um, chat with you some more. Is he uh, is he flirting with us? <laughs> this sounds good. I'll be there. Right. Uh, whatever happened to your buddy uh, Demidius? It's not my. Oh, I see what you did there. Good one. He had more trouble adapting than most. He got himself disqualified from the UFC. <laughs> so he started some kind of underground blood sport tournament. Like we had in Rome. Oh gosh. Suppose it appealed to people's baser instincts. And they say he made some good coin, killing a bunch of men like that. Goodness but gracious, in just a year? And his life along with it. You know what they say. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Yeah, I don't know if I was looking too much into it, Mila, but it just kind of sounded that way. It was cute. It was cute. Hmm. Perhaps. It was good to see you, Horatius. See you at drinks later, I hope. Uh, he definitely was flirting with us. <laughs> hey. Sentia, hi. I take it you're the Oracle. Thanks for coming. Her voice sounds so familiar. I really want to see who voiced these people. Actually, I changed my name to Cynthia. I didn't want to be associated with Sentius after what happened. That's fair. I'm not sure if you heard, but after you drove Pluto off, Proserpina emerged from the Great Oh! Temple. She knew right away what none of us had figured out about that psychopath. He'd been keeping my little sister locked up in the upper cistern all that time. But he's been dealt with. He's... Uh, you know what? The important thing is, we'll never see him again. Uh, what are you doing with yourself nowadays? Anything I want. I'm a woman of means in a vast new world. I can go wherever and do whatever I please. Of course, I mostly just stay in my villa and have my servant Alexa summon things for me, because it's just awful out there. Barbarians everywhere. So I think oh, someone earlier said I think Maliolus got, uh sent to a, like a psychiatric like hospital but i wonder about sentius he's still there all alone <gasps> the last golden statue in the underworld heck yeah trapped in a metal shell slowly losing his mind until the end of time eternal torment just what he deserves if you ask me uh he did once tell me he wanted to live forever <laughs> Good. That seems a bit excessive, don't you think? I, he, he did tell us this. <laughs> then I suppose he got his wish. Ah, uh, it was good to see you again, Cynthia. You too. See you around. I like that it changed her name here too. Oh wow. Who else do we have? Uh, Georgius? Maybe just George now? Hello. And Fabia. Greetings. You must be the legendary oracle. It is a sincere privilege to finally make your acquaintance. I am Georgius. Maybe he's still Georgius. Good to see you. Uh, good to see you too, Georgius. I am told we have you to thank for freeing us from Hades. And for that, I am most grateful. He was always proud of his name, so I guess it's very fitting. Uh, what are you doing with yourself nowadays? I am reacquainting myself with Greece. It has changed so much over the last 2,000 years, I barely recognize it. This is at once heartbreaking and thrilling. Perhaps one day, once I have seen all of this new Greece and sampled her delights, I will settle down in Sandorini in a villa overlooking the Aegean <laughs> Sea. 
I hope so. I hope you join me there and regale me with the story of how you faced off against the fearsome god of the underworld and won. I hope so too, buddy. Consider me there. It's good to see you again. You too, my friend. Hi, Fabia. You are looking fabulous, let me tell you. You're the one we've been waiting for. I'm Fabia. Hi, Fabia. I wanted to say thanks for sending Galerius to save my life. I don't know how you knew, but I would have been crushed by that shrine for sure. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be here with you and everyone together again, even if it's just for one more night. And what are you doing with yourself nowadays? Well, it's not like I have to work with all the silver Karen gave me, so I just do what makes me happy. Mostly I wonder how much that would have been worth. My friends and looking at memes while binging TV shows in yoga pants. <laughs> what a time to be alive. <laughs> ah, she's great. I'm glad you're happy. Thank you. I really am. Mm, it's good to see you. You too. Um, oh. Oh, even the hermit philosopher. Do we get to know his name now? This is the bed that he slept in. I take it you're the oracle everybody's talking about. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. We've met before, but I wouldn't expect you to remember it. We have. I'm sorry, I don't remember. In any case, I'm Philip. Philip. I never thought I'd leave that cave, let alone the city. And now I'm living in the 21st century. What a time to be alive. <laughs> and it seems I have your catabasis to thank for it. My what? Uh, what are you doing with yourself nowadays? I'm working as a consultant to the Faculty of Classics at Cambridge University, helping fill the odd gap in their knowledge. Not that I need the money, but I do love being around enlightened minds again. <laughs> I, I wonder how he would explain the, the knowledge that he has. My sincere thanks once again. Oh. Oh, oh, um... Some soiree, innit? Decius, you, um... Uh, I don't think you're quite supposed to be lounging <laughs> on the display. Please keep off the furniture. Even clean hands can damage the fragile surfaces of these rare pieces. Decius, you oh, are a rare oh, piece indeed. Last. You must be the oracle I've heard so much about. I'm Decius. Hi, Decius. <sighs> I wanted to express my sincere appreciation for what you did. If it wasn't for you, I'd never been able to sell all those useless old relics I accumulated. Whatever you did in that temple made me a very wealthy man. Thank oh, you. Oh, retreat. Thank you, Incarnadine. No need to thank me. It was entirely unintended. Such a cervic wit. I love it. What are you doing with yourself nowadays? I took the money I made from selling my trinkets and started investing in the stock market. That's where the real money is now. In He's fact, not wrong. I was hoping to ask your advice, you being the oracle and future seer and all that, on which stocks I should invest in next. I can't decide between fossil fuels, tobacco, gambling, and arms. What would you recommend? Hmm, I can't really see the future, I'm afraid. I wouldn't help you, even if I could. <laughs> oh, don't be like that. You can tell your old pal, Dacius. I won't take no for an answer. Ah, uh, well, you're gonna have to this time. Samu, nice to see you. Welcome in. I'm doing great. Thanks. We're just uh, finishing up our game here. How have you been? I hope you're having a nice Friday. DVD rentals have a bright future. Broadca broadcast television is going to be the next big thing. Print media is going to make a huge comeback. Um, let's see about the DVD rentals. Oh, of course, yeah. I was just thinking the same thing. I'll go home and buy up as much stock as I can tonight. I'm gonna make a bloody fortune. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is great. I'll be going of now. Course. Don't let me keep you. Thanks again for the tips, my friend. Oh, I like print media still. I feel like you're there. Oh, okay. Good evening, Octavia. Oh, hello. It's lovely to meet she you. She she did I've tell us to get out of the shrine that one time, but other than that, she was pretty chill. Nice to see you, Octavia. I'm thankful that you're here. 
I was sure the person who drove off the last pagan god would have more important things to do than visit the likes of us. But thank Not you eating. for coming and for saving our lives. What you did was extraordinary, and I'll never forget it. Uh, what are you doing with yourself these days? I'm living in Rome again, in a charming little flat by the Tiber. Um, not oh no, not the office. Tiber. Oh, and I'm training to be a crisis counselor. Oh. After you sent Galerius to persuade Ulpius not to take his own life, I was inspired. Mm. I just want to spend the rest of my life helping people, like you helped him. Uh, sounds like a noble cause. Good on you. Thank you. That means a lot. It was good to see you, Octavia. And you. And Livia. Hello. You Greetings. feeling better? Good to see you. You're looking well, Livia. Thank you for your kind words and for liberating us all. In Celine, all the time thank you for the hydration. I was in the underworld, I never once imagined that I might end up in a place so much like Elysium. What are you doing with yourself nowadays? I'm recovering. Octavia was kind enough to let me stay with her for a while. At least until I'm well enough to be independent Aww. again. Uh, read any go good poems lately? Ah, you remember that. I'm a little tired of Ovid, but that's all right. I have 2,000 years worth of poetry to catch up on now. <laughs> That's I'm fair. already up to the 19th century Ooh. and am quite enjoying the work of a fellow named Poe. <laughs> I think I may have found a kindred spirit. That's so precious. Many have called me mad, but the question is not yet settled whether madness is or is not the loftiest intelligence. I, I like Livia. Well said. It was good to see you again. And you. Farewell, friend. So sweet. <sighs> so many wonderful peoples here. Is this a Kabash? Yeah, Kabash. We kind of, uh, last, last time we saw each other was kind of on a bad note. Thanks, Kabash. You know my name. Oh, of course. You are an oracle. You know many things. I too would like to offer my thanks for releasing us from that place and for your role in bringing us here. This world is truly wondrous. Uh, what are you doing with yourself nowadays? For a time, I return to Alexandria, but they have no need of another fisherman. And I came to see there is nothing for me there. Mm. Instead, I have decided to follow the custom of your youths and backpack the world. <laughs> it is a great adventure, and I have met many people from many cultures. I spent the first 25 years of my life avoiding the 42 sins that would deny me access to the afterlife. Now, I think it is time I had some fun. <laughs> I think so too, buddy. Sounds like you've earned it. Indeed. It was good to see you. Thank you, Oracle. Oh. Oh, man. <gasps> Wait. Hang on. So, like, in the past, like, we knew that, uh, like, uh, Virgil was gay. Um, and Rufius was giving him crap for that. Did they end up... It's so nice to finally meet you. I've heard so much about you. Hi, Virgil. Good to see you. I wanted to thank you personally for getting us out of there. And for helping Rufus come to terms with himself. He may come off a little gruff, but once you get past that, he's a lovely fellow. Oh. Um, what are you doing with yourself these days? I'm studying to be an architect again and living with Rufus in our beautiful flat in Rotterdam. Just down the river from Nijmegen. Where I grew up, of course, it's improved immensely since I was there last. Gleaming futuristic buildings and clean streets full of educated, accepting people. You natives of the 21st century have no idea how fortunate you are. It's good to see you. He says he's living, living with Rufus. You if you're ever in the Netherlands, we'd love to show you around. It's the least we could do. Let's, uh, let's get to know uh, Rufus a little more now. Nice to meet you. He always did have really nice eyes. 
<laughs> Good to see you too, Rufius. You too. What did you say your uh what did you say your name was? Oof. <laughs> I go by Rufus now. Yeah. You start your name. Oh, and uh, thanks, by the way, for what you did. Sorry, I'm no good with the mushy stuff. <laughs> He's not such a bad guy. What are you doing with yourself nowadays? Although I think I have a feeling here too. I live with Virgil in Rotterdam, not far from where he grew up. It's very modern. Destroyed in the wall and it rebuilt itself. Good place for a fresh start. Oh. Haven't decided what I'm going to do with my life yet. Hmm. One adjustment at a time. So, like, neither of them really um, said or confirmed that, like, they, they are in, like, a relationship together. But either way, you know, it, at the very least, it seems like they're good friends. And um, that's really great on Virgil for being able to um, to forgive him for, for all the hurt that he caused him. It turns out you were right. The statues really were watching us. Good to know. Anyway, it was good practice for the new world. Security cameras and smartphones everywhere. Got to stay vigilant. Mm, that is unfortunately true. Mm. <laughs> Him and his growling. You too. Look us up next time you're in the Netherlands. I'm... We're grateful. My heart. <sighs> then these two. Oh, I will try not to cry. <sighs> Let me talk to Centilla first. Hello there. Hey, Centilla. Oh, you're looking a lot I go better. By now. I didn't want to oh, be reminded okay. of that monster every time I heard my own name. That's fair. After you drove Pluto off, Proserpina came and released me. And that monster got what was coming to him. Uh, I'm sorry, I had no idea. I, I mean, we, we kind of did, but, but you know, not until the end. Sounds like he got what he deserved. Mm -hmm. And she's just like, mm -hmm, yep. <laughs> what are you doing with yourself these days? I'm living with Ulpius on a little vineyard in Umbria. It's even more wonderful than I dreamed it would be. I'm so grateful to you for making sure he's still with us. If you're ever passing through the region, I hope you'll come and visit us. You can try some of our very own wine. <laughs> I might just do that. It was good to see you, Gabriella. Thanks. You too. Oh, smooth. Thanks for the hydration. Hydrate so you can afford to lose cry fluid. I think I'm gonna need it. Opius. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. <sighs> I'm Opius. I'm gonna cry. <sighs> Good to see you. I understand. I have you to thank for sending Galerius to save my life. No the thanks necessary. You just showed up out of the blue and stopped me from making a terrible mistake. I'll be forever in your debt. <sighs> what are you doing with yourself these days? I'm living with Gabriella in Umbria. We finally bought the little vineyard we always dreamed of. It'll be a little while before we know what we're doing, but every day I look at her. And this extraordinary new world, with all its beauty, and I think, what if I'd given up hope? <sighs> missed out on all of this. So we're living each day to the fullest. And we end them all the same way. Sitting together on our terrace with a glass of our wine. Which the locals say is almost drinkable now. <laughs> almost. <the> sunset <laughs> over the rolling hillside. And I couldn't be happier. <sighs> I'm so glad you're happy. Thank you. <sighs> I wouldn't be here without you. It was so good to see you, Olpius. You too. Oh, gosh. That one definitely hits the hardest. I wonder if there could have been a, a change to this ending, you know, 
we were like, you know, if we hadn't saved him, but I'm, I'm so glad that we did. Oh, I wouldn't have it any other way. Rochelle, thanks for the hug. Definitely needed. Oh. Renee, thanks for the hug too. There's like the, uh, the gambling stuff. Latin plaque which reads, All must walk this path to where the laws of day help the virtuous to paradise in the city beneath earth. Ravenous hunger, then pain. Uh, interesting. Yeah. Oh. Just wanted to look around at this stuff before, uh, before we go talk to Al again. I heard voices. I think they're maybe coming from there. I thought I was whispering at first. I'm like, are the statues back? <laughs> Proserpina, is that you? Sumerian plaque written in cuneiform, which translate to the sins of the one shall become the suffering of the many. <laughs> we heard that a few times, didn't we? Oh. Wow. Hi, Al. There you are. I hope you enjoyed that. Very now, there's much one so. more person I wanted to introduce you to. I think you know her. <gasps> Reserpina! Sorry if I frightened you. Just a little joke I've been saving for a long, long time. Oh my gosh! Wait, who are you? I recognize Allow that voice. Allow me to introduce myself properly. I am Proserpina, former goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. And now, a regular mortal. I wanted to meet you in person, and thank you for freeing all these people and me. We couldn't have done it if I it weren't for you. What would have happened to us without your intervention? Uh, you were whispering to me all along. You created the time loop. What came? What, uh, what became of Pluto? What became of Karen? Um, we lost this first. I did. I may have given up my immortality, but I still retain my gifts as the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. After witnessing Pluto punish countless poor souls over thousands of years, I knew this generation, the final wave, would not survive. So I tried to give them a way to buy more time. A second chance. Rather as many second chances as they needed to avoid his wrath. So I whispered to Sentius in secret, telling him the prayer required to create a portal in my shrine. I knew the danger of humans being corrupted by godly power. And so I put a safeguard in place. I required the creator of the portal to sacrifice their own life. So that it could only be used selflessly to help others. What I did not anticipate is that Sentius would retain his accumulated memories from each previous day. And as a veteran soldier, he had long since shed his fear of death. He quickly discovered that he could, in effect, prolong his own life indefinitely by exploiting the cycle. Of course, once I had taught him the prayer, I could not unteach him. And there was little I could do but wait for someone like you to come along and see him for what he was. It we took a little while, but... Came along <laughs> did. Um, you were with the whispering to me all along. Indeed. Suffice it to say that while Pluto was controlling the eyes and ears of each golden statue, I was able to control their tongues and whisper to you when he was distracted. I am sorry my messages were so cryptic. There were only ever brief windows in which I could speak to you without being detected. Uh, you did what you could. Thank you. Uh, what became of Pluto? I don't know what happened to him. I haven't heard from him. And I rather hope it stays that way. Uh, what about Karen? Oh, she inherited dominion over the underworld. Last time we spoke, she was working on a new world of some kind. Interesting. She wouldn't say what it was. But I'd be surprised if you don't run into her again. I imagine we all will, one day. It was nice meeting you. And you, although it feels like I've known you forever. Aww. Oh, and one last thing. Do you remember all those golden statues scattered throughout the city? Are they here too? Good, because they remember you. Well done, my friend. Of all the heroes who ever journeyed to the underworld in return, none came close to achieving what you did. Hercules, Orpheus, Theseus, and Aeneas. They the made it! <sighs> Ending four of four. So it 
It's interesting how the one, two, and three are so grouped together. I'm... I'm assuming that that had to be the best ending. <laughs> Literally don't think how anything could get better than that. That was so wonderful. I'm so happy about that ending. Like, I'm I'm the type of person, like, when I play a game, like, I, I want to play, like, you know, kind of as a completionist type route. So it was so worth trying to pursue every lead that we had. Developed by modern storyteller, GG. Nick Pierce, Alexander Goss. I hope I didn't butcher that. John, John Iyer. I've already followed um, their Twitter accounts and apparently they're already working on another game. Um, there was a, a really precious post on there about the the one year since uh, this game came out. And again, it uh, it came out apparently originally as a Skyrim mod and they made it into a full on game. And gosh, I'm so glad that they did. I, I can say that this will easily be in like my top five favorite games from now on. Oh, 